Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Reddy Potla, Maxillofacial and facial, facial Plastic Surgeon. Welcome to Pioneer Advanced Hair Transplant Surgery. We have been doing hair transplant since 2006. We have performed approximately 4200 surgeries till date with optimum results. Well, today we are going to discuss about what are the factors that will affect hair transplant results. Number one is donor hair quality. If the donor hair quality is good enough, we can expect very good results. Number two is plan. Plan in the sense like how you're going to place the hairline. If you place the hairline down, I'm sure you're not going to get the natural hairline. And what are the angulations, orientation of the graft that are going to be implanted? How many grafts that you're going to plant to which area? These are the most important factors that can help you with getting the good outcome of the transplantation. Apart from this, skin color, hair texture also matters. I'm going to show a few cases uh, after hair transplant. Uh, these cases uh, will appear you know, uh, very natural results. You can see undetectable hairline and uh, natural density. What is the minimum age for hair transplant? Uh, some people will ask. It's supposed to be minimum 25 and above. And there is no uh, reason you are getting it done uh, less than 25 years because you will have a further hair loss that, will, that can continue and uh, your hair transplantation can be disastrous. So better uh, you take hair transplantation about 25 years of your age. How do we say uh, this is the best transplant? So basically you check the hairline. If the hairline is very natural, no one is understanding that you underwent transplant, that must be a very good transplant. And check the donor area. No scars has to be seen either FUT or FUE. Even if FUE is done by a, uh, uh, wrong technician or maybe uh, substandard doctors, uh, probably even FUE can lead to a disastrous scars. Be careful with that kind of stuff when you are choosing a clinic. Subscribe to our channel now to get more update. There are few reasons why you are supposed to choose the best clinic or uh, best surgeon is head transplant is a surgical procedure. Any surgical procedure has some uh, basic principles are same let it be hair transplant or any other surgery. So basic surgical principles are like sterilization protocols. Most of the clinics does not even know what is the sterilization protocols are. So all your instruments has to be sterilized and has to be used only disposables and even operation theater has to be fumigated. So these are the basic information one should know before choosing a clinic. So when you do sterilization, probably you can avoid all the contagious diseases which spreads to person to person. Not only getting the hair, you are supposed to be aware of all these uh, protocols and you have to go with the safer hands and safe clinic to get it done your hair transplantation procedure. Call us now for free consultation and expert advice. Uh, another important point is second day onwards you are supposed to wash the implanted area which is very mandatory. Most of the clinics will not suggest you to wash, but it is recommended to wash every day to remove the uh, blood clots, whatever it is. So washing every day until 12 days is mandatory. Some people ask me, can I rub the grafts? You are not supposed to rub the grafts until 12 days, whereas you are supposed to wash it every day without rubbing. That is the most important instruction, less than uh, 12 days. After 12th day, you are supposed to rub the grafts and wash. So this is a little confusion for the patients. You should be very um, aware of this. Uh, before 12th day, 12 days, from day one to 12 days, do not drop the grafts, but you still take the hair wash. Actually, all these grafts are supposed to fall by 12 days to 15 days. Most of the patients, they lose all these implanted grafts by 90% by end of the 20th day. That's quite common. One should not worry about those shedding uh, grafts because that's a very common phenomena in hair transplantation. What is unlimited grafts? Uh, this is a marketing gimmick uh, because uh, unlimited grafts means that there is no such unlimited grafts in hair transplant. The number of the grafts that is harvestable, available in your donor um, could be sometimes 3000, sometimes uh, very rarely 4000 grafts and it never be more than that. So someone say unlimited, you, you remember that it uh, is supposed to be uh, your donor can decide how many grafts that you are going to get. So if you think about unlimited grafts, do not ever think that you would get 10,000 grafts for the hair transplant. Call us now for free consultation and expert advice.